Well, hello Cyberland. My name is Marlin, and the channel is Old Fart Hacks. The one I have for you today is, I apologize actually, it's one of my first videos and I screwed up a lot of things on it, but it does show important things. I filmed it, nothing else in the vertical format, like I'm doing this one, which I probably shouldn't again, but at least it fits. Um, and yeah, just forgive the filming quality, it's uh, one of my very first efforts. But it shows how to take the pins out of a Ford slash Lincoln running board, how to get them out so you can put it all together. Enjoy. At least I hope you enjoy. Hope it's useful to you. Okay, and taking these bushings or these um, motors apart, these systems apart, my initial push is directly on the smallest and shortest thing I can. Line this up into a little socket. So I don't know why the camera stopped, but it stopped. Isn't that the way? Anyways, you can see that little push got the pen from here at that height. Down. Now it's flush. So we can now start pushing a little more safely with other things. And what I'm going to do here is pull my two plates apart far enough to allow me to drop this into a little gap that will be created at that point. Assuming I can figure out how to actually pull a plate apart, you know, that's three moving parts, you know, the plate and the two objects. But anyway, so now we have it set up in that fashion, and a little bit of a slope there. Okay, and that's about on. So now we'll go from here. And for this next section, section of the pushing, I'm going to use a very short bolt to get it started. I'm using bolts because, frankly, I'm too cheap to go out and get the right punches and such. But anyway, we'll come in here with this. I think it's a quarter, 20 or something like that. Whatever, it's smaller than the uh, diameter of the pen, so. Don't I have that tightened up? The old story is when all else fails, tighten up the uh, valve on the jack and the uh, press first. Okay, let's try this again. So we come in here with this here bolt, this sheer bolt, and we stick it to it. And then we run the press down. Got to get that a little further back. A little more vertical, perhaps. Okay, and let's give this a shot and see what happens. Okay, back to the toy. And we'll give it some heat. Just that simple. We've now gone quite a bit further in. From here we'll just repeat with longer chunks of bolt. Unfortunately I also have to uh, reset so I'm going to set it down one more level here. Move this down so I can get my longer bolts in. Be right back. Have fun. La -da -da -da. Okay, so here we are with it reset to the next lower level down so I can get this longer bolt in here. And it's still warm enough 
that can just get slide on out. Up against the bolt head. And we pull that bolt out. I'm using a pair of pliers just in case the stupid thing's hot. Then I got a nice long twisty one I stick in here. Tighten everything back up. And come on back down again. It'd be lovely to have a power drive on this thing, you know. Hydraulic pump, all that nasty stuff. But I'm not that rich. So I got to do it the old-fashioned way. And this will finish taking it out. And there we go, pin out. Parts falling on the bench, you know, the normal, clean, neat, no mess, no muss, no fuss, right? But anyway, let me go get the part. Uh, which is the colder part? Uh, this is the coldest part. Okay. And we're left with then just taking the bolt out. Voila, voila. And then that falls apart. Such funny. The bushings, by the way, are contained in these arms. They're right here. They pull out to the inside, as you can see here as well. It's a small ring. They're split bushings, so they come out pretty easy. Anyway, that's the process. You just do that repeatedly until everything falls apart, then you push it back together. But as I said, do not irritate the gods, the Vulc or the god Vulcan, because if you do, you will do that. Oops. Got to find out if Ford sells that part separate. Probably do. There's a part number on it, so. Anyway, that's it for taking these joints apart. All the joints are the same. They all come apart the same way. It's just a matter of jacking them out. Such fun. <laughs> But heat works.